assalamu alaikum dear students uh, in previous video i have discussed about uh, eigen values and characteristic equations and polynomials and uh, the method how to find eigen values of a particular matrix uh, in this video i will discuss how to find eigen vectors associated to a particular transformation matrix and also i would find basis for eigen uh, eigen space uh, from previous lecture we know that all the vectors which do not change their direction under a transformation are called eigenvectors and we would have an equation like ax equals to lambda x then i can take ax on the other side and i would have uh, lambda i x minus ax equals to zero and uh, finally i would have lambda i minus a times x equals to zero so to get the value of eigenvalues, I would have to take determinant of this equal to 0. But to get the values of eigenvectors, I would need to use the same equation in the form of matrices. Okay. So, first we do is we find all the eigenvalues. Suppose we have three eigenvalues lambda equals to lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 uh, i would replace those uh, values of lambda uh, one by one uh, in this equation i would place suppose lambda is lambda 1 then i would have a coefficient matrix times a equal to 0 uh, this would give us a, a homogeneous system that we would solve by gaussian elimination method and we would get uh, an eigenvector associated to the eigenvalue lambda equals to lambda 1. Then in the same equation we would replace the value of uh, lambda with lambda 2 and then again we would get a coefficient matrix and again uh, a homogeneous system that again can be s uh, solved by using Gaussian elimination method and we would get another matrix uh, another vector uh, x uh, which would be an eigenvector associated to eigenvalue lambda 2 and in, in similar fashion we can find uh, an eigenvector associated to eigenvalue lambda equals to lambda 3. So to explain this whole process let me consider an example that is a equals to 0 0 negative 2 1 2 1 1 0 3 this is a matrix and we need to find its eigenvalues then eigenvectors and also uh, the basis for eigenspaces uh, for uh, this matrix so we would just start from uh, eigenvalues in previous lectures i have already explained that to get the values uh, to get the uh, eigenvalues we need to find uh, we need to put lambda i minus a determinant equals to 0 and by this we would have this matrix and after simplification we would have this polynomial uh, polynomial equation and that is third order uh, characteristic equation and we can solve it by using different means and I would solve this by solving first I would solve this by using calculator and I have explained the method in previous video how do how can we use this particular model of calculator to find equ equation of these types of uh, solution of these types of equations suppose we have this equation then the coefficient of lambda power 3 is 1 so I would just press 1 and then equal then the coefficient of lambda square is minus 5 I would just write minus 5 and I will I would press equal then the coefficient of lambda is 8 so I would just type uh, just press 8 and then equal and next is negative 4 so minus 4 and then equal so I have uh, placed all the quotients in the calculator and now I just press equal and I would get the value of first lambda that is lambda equals to 1 let me check it yes the first value of lambda is 1 then I would press equal again and the next value of lambda is 2 that is lambda equals to 2 and I would press the calculator equal again and 
I would not get any further values that is why I would say that 2 is a repeated root because the original polynomial was, uh, was of third order so I should have three roots so 1 is lambda equals to 1 and 2 was repeated so I would have two more roots that is lambda equals to 2 and lambda equals to 2. Uh, on the other hand you can also solve it by uh, synth uh, remainder theorem or synthetic division if I put lambda equals to 1 in the original equation that would satisfy the equation so I would say lambda equals to 1 is one of the roots and uh, if I say that lambda equals to 1 is the root then lambda minus 1 would be a factor and uh, I can divide the original polynomial characteristic polynomial by lambda minus 1 to get a reduced polynomial that would give us the remaining roots and we can solve uh, this by using factorization or quadratic formula and we would get lambda equals to 1, lambda equals to 2, lambda equals to 2. Uh, all this procedure is needed if you do not have a calculator. If you have a calculator, you don't have to do all these steps. You can just find the values of lambda by using calculators and, and then you will have uh, these 1, 2, 3 values of lambda. Now we would have uh, uh, an eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 1 then we would have another uh, eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 2 okay so uh, uh, let me find uh, these uh, eigenvectors uh, I would find uh, the vector uh, eigenvector which corresponds to the eigenvalue lambda equals to 1 so I would put lambda equals to 1 in the equation that we had lambda i minus a times x equals to 0 here we have lambda equals to 1 so we will just replace the value of lambda uh, and we would have i minus a that is identity min matrix minus a and uh, finally we would have a coefficient matrix then uh, x1 x2 x3 are actually the components of x and then equals to 0. This is a homogeneous system and in previous chapters we have this, uh, learned we have uh, uh, learned how to solve these types of uh, systems by using different methods like Gaussian elimination method, Gauss Jordan method and different other methods. In, uh, this, uh, in these particular questions I would uh, just restrict, restrict myself to Gaussian elimination method and, and I would solve this method and solve this system of equation by using Gaussian, Gaussian elimination method. Uh, so I would write augmented matrix in this form. Uh, first we would write A and then uh, everything which is on the right hand side that is 0, 0, 0. That would be augmented matrix. Here we have uh, 1 which is the pivot element and after uh, making the pivot equals to 1 uh, we just make uh, we just need to make all the entries which are uh, which are below this uh, pivot element equal to 0 so I need to make this value 0 and I need to make this value 0 by using row operations and after doing the row operations I would get this value that would be 1 0 2 0 0 negative 1 1 1 0 and 0 0 1 and after uh, converting this uh, the, the pivot of next row into 1 I would uh, I, all I have to do is multiply this row or divide this row with negative 1 and I would get uh, this matrix uh, this augmented matrix in this form now one of the rows is 0 so we would have an arbitrary solution so uh, we can write uh, these equation in this form x1 plus 2x3 equals to 0 x1 plus 2x3 equals to 0 then I have x2 minus x3 equals to 0 and and these are the two equations that we have from uh, this matrix so we uh, we have a blank row that is one row is entirely zero so we have to substitute or we have to take one variable equal to a, a, a free variable or arbitrary variable so uh, let uh, let's take x3 equals to some arbitrary variable that is s then uh, all the other variables can be determined in, in the form of uh, in terms of s so if we take x3 equals to s then it would be x2 minus s equals to 0 then we will have x2 equal to s and by putting the value of x3 in this equation we would have x1 equals to minus 2s so we have 
calculated the values of x1, x2 and x3. So uh, the value of x would be minus 2s, s and s. So this is uh, actually uh, the eigenvectors associated to uh, the value of lambda which is lambda equals to 1. So if I take s common outside I would have x equals to s into minus 2 1 1 and uh, if I take this vector to be v1 or just v then this would be uh, a part of uh, basis uh, for eigenspaces x and here if x is equals to s v this v write x as a linear combination of vector v it implies v form basis for eigenspace x so v is part of uh, the basis of eigenspaces so basis for eigenspaces corresponding to lambda 1 is b equals to v1 that is minus 2 1 1 i mean whatever which is common inside would become uh, the basis for eigenspace uh, for corresponding to lambda equals to 1. Similarly, you can take the value, uh, uh, you can find uh, the cor uh, corresponding uh, eigenvectors which correspond to lambda equals to 2 and uh, you can find all the eigenvectors and also uh, you can find basis for eigenspace corresponding to lambda equals to 2 uh, and I would leave uh, uh, that for your exercise and for further exercises uh, you can also uh, practice exercise 5.1 that is elementary linear algebra by Howard Anton and uh, you can practice from question 1 to question 12 uh, inshallah uh, in next video I will discuss another topic till then Allah Hafiz